Um, this list you gave us of the stuff he's taken, could you say what colour the T-shirts were so we know what he might be wearing? Yeah, there was um, a red one with a stripe and um, a pale grey one. It was a bit washed out, really. Uh, oh, excuse me. Would you like to record? What? The outgoing message. I mean, it's better if it's your voice. Or no, Martin's as well. Not now. You mentioned a poster. Yes, uh, we'll need a photograph, preferably... Uh, uh, well, would you like me to do it, then? What? Well, it's my voice on it now, of course, but then it's our number. Yes, Mother, do whatever you like. Preferably. Uh, preferably a, a better one than the snap you gave us yesterday, as we'll be blowing it up. And... Oh, uh, excuse me, but uh, could you just keep your voice down when I do do it? Thanks. Oh, thank you. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Platt are not available at the moment, but you may leave a message after the tone. It's just a bit serious there, don't you think? How recent? It's about six months. Well, that's fine. May I? Yes, of course. My dear, I don't suppose they'd be looking very happy at the moment, so perhaps that's oh. just as well, old dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I just started to arrange the album, but I didn't finish them. Um... You know, something cropped up. Oh, is that... Grandad. Oh, I see. I don't know. Now, don't go reading anything into anything. Mother! No, come on, it's only a bit of scribble. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> what do you mean, time that was? Oh. Where have you been? Um, to see the bank manager. It was Ken's idea. Oh. You know, to see if anything's happening with Nick's account. But, oh, no, he can't tell me. Customer confidentiality. Oh. No, but Nick's only a child. Did you tell them he was missing? Yes, of course. He said he needed police confirmation. Well, if you'd like to go back, Mr Platt, I'll come with you. Would you? Sure. Right. See you in a bit. When's Nick coming on? We don't know exactly, darling. Hey, got it. Come through. Look, uh, there's 150 taken out uh, two days before he left. Well, is that good or bad? What do you mean? Well, it's a lot of money. Yeah, well, all right. It proves he's not going to be sleeping in a cardboard box, all, doesn't it? Well, unless he's been mocked. Oh, come on. If he'd been seriously hurt, then would he... Seriously hurt? Well, yeah, enough to require hospital attention, then the police would have been informed and they'd have been in touch. Are you sure? Oh, come on, Gail. I've worked on A&E &E long enough. I know the drill, don't I? So he's all right? Well, yeah, I'm sure he's all right. What happens when the money runs out? Sooner the better. What? Well, because when it runs out, he'll have to go to a cash point, won't he? So? So the bank will know which one, won't they? Mm -hmm. In fact, some of them have video cameras up there, so they've got a tapes record of everyone that's making a withdrawal. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> well, the sooner the better. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello, love. Uh, Hi, love. You know, I can stay longer, Martin, love, if you've got things you want to do. Uh, no, it was just a bit of shopping and the bank, Audrey. By the way, uh, Sarah Louise tells me that Gail's gone out with Don for the day. She has? Yeah, no, I'm not disputing it, sweetheart. Look, you, you finish that chapter on you. I'm just surprised that she would want to spend time with someone who has such awful things to say about this family. Yeah, well, we all get upset, say things we shouldn't. Well, I'm sure I haven't said anything I shouldn't. Except you, Audrey, of course. Sorry, I should have said that. I mean, it's not really family anyway, is it? It was just married to Ivy, whose son was once married to Gail. I mean, it's stretching it a bit far. What do you mean? He's not a blood relative? No. Well, neither am I, really. Martin... I don't know why you always seem to want to put me in the wrong. I'm just stating the truth. Yeah, well, maybe the truth isn't what we need right now. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh, my love. No news. No. Well, we've not spectacular to report either. Just a lot of promises from folks who say they'll let us know if they see him. Let Gail and Martin know, you mean? Uh, yeah. Do you know, I will always come round with you to these places, love. You don't have to be on your own. She hasn't been alone. I've been with her. Right, I better be on my way anyway. Bye bye, Sarah Louise. Yeah. Bye, Davey. Yeah. Bye, Ma'am. I better leave her now. Uh, 
Let us know if there's something else I can do. Just give us a shout, eh? Yeah, we will, Don. And cheers. Yeah, and thanks for your help today, Don. Ah, you're welcome. Don't worry. We'll find that lad. Even if it means that Audrey and me have got to work together. I want to stay up till Dad gets Dad, home. I said, Daddy will come up and see you later. You too, Davy. Aww. Go on, up you go. I'll come up in a minute. Nighty night. You're on your own. Yes, on my own. No, we didn't find him. Oh, I'm sorry, Gail. I don't like to have brought him home, or if I couldn't do that, I'd at least bring you back some news that might make you feel better, but I haven't got any. No. No. Oh, we walk miles. Give all the leaflets out, me, Ken, and the lads. Nothing. You seen this boy? Not a flicker. Well, thanks for trying, Martin. I appreciate it. Sorry? Who do you think you're talking to, Gail? I appreciate it. Come on, you're talking to me as if I'm some friend of the family or something. I'm his dad. I'm the only dad he's got, all right, and I want him back just as much as you do. Oh, I don't know why I'm shouting at you. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Well, we'll just have to keep on hoping. Dad, have you brought me anything? Oh, I haven't brought you anything. I didn't have any time, did I? Come here. You've been a good girl for your yeah. mum. Yeah, she's been smashing, haven't you? Yeah. Come here. Come here. You miss me? Yeah. <laughs> Roy's very sweet, but uh, there are limits. And what about you two? Have you behaved yourselves today? We yeah. went southport. Uh -huh. When I beat Grandad out at Crazy Golf, Dave's had to go, but he was rubbish. Well, didn't it? <laughs> and what about Grandma Audrey? She went, she went shopping! shopping. <laughs> Mum? Say Nick doesn't come back, can I have his bedroom? Go. Has Nick done something wrong? Oh. Why, how do you mean? Mum's going to the police. How do you know that? I heard you. Is that why he hasn't come home? Um, no. Well, Nick's done nothing wrong. At least we don't think he has. So, why, uh, so why's Mum gone to the police then? Look, okay. Look, there's nothing to be worried about, but we don't actually know where Nick is. Do the police know? Um, well, they might do, yeah. Look, do you know when I go and take uh, that money out of the wall? The magic money machine? Yeah. Well, sometimes they have a secret camera, and that's what's happened to Nick. They've filmed him taking some money out. Well, the police think it's Nick, so... That's where your mum is now. She's got to see if it's him. If it is Nick, can mum bring him home? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Right, so anyway, let me clean this fridge out. And you two can have a yoghurt each, get a spoon, and can go and have it in the garden. All right. There might be a secret camera in our garden. Huh? Yeah, there might be one day. Joking. Uh, it was um, blurred, and you could only see the profile. You couldn't tell who it was, but I knew it wasn't Nick. So you were taking money out of Nick's account then? So they say. 
purpose. God help him. Nicky. Hi. Thank God for that. Nicky. Hi. Nicky, Dad. <laughs> oh, Nick. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. I thought... Please, go with us. Okay, I'll go off. What's up? The what's up? Nick, do you not know? Look, your mum's been physically sick out there. She's physically ill with what you've put her through. Did you not think for one minute what you might have been doing to her? Yeah, I've come back, haven't I? Oh, yeah, you've come back now, after putting her through weeks of thinking you were dead. Yeah, well, that's all over with. Oh, all over. Mum, I forget if it's going to be like this. Oh, listen, sunshine, you ain't going anywhere. Hey, now, come on, she's trying. I'm not there on his shoulder. Now, listen. Sit down. This isn't doing Gail any good at all. So who is him? Tell him. I'll tell me. all of us. Now, you're back. That's the main thing. And we're all very glad. You know, it doesn't look like it. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just been a bit sick, that's oh, it's not surprising. She's a little shock. We all have. Anyway, we better get off, love. Come on. Well, just let's see what he's been up to first. Well, we'll find out later. They don't want us under the feet. No. Yeah, right then. Oh, thanks, ma'am, for everything. Thanks, Al, for all that driving. Oh, it went out, love. Yeah, you've oh. both been terrific. Thanks very much. <laughs> Oh, you haven't half put us through it, young man. I hope you're going to say sorry to your mum, huh? Bye, love. Bye, yeah, Thanks, Audrey. Thanks again. <laughs> Bye. I'm not dreaming, am I? No. He's back. Oh. Right, what about you two? Did your Granny Audrey make you any tea? No. no. Come on, then. Let's see if we can rustle you something up. Mum? I'm really sorry. And I don't know, sweetheart, because it's supposed to be a surprise. Right, come on, let's get your coats on, eh? Uh, where's your shoes, pal? He left them upstairs when he was cleaning his Well, team. come on, let's go and find them. Shut, the shut. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Are you sure this is all right? I mean, Alf doesn't mind. No, of course he doesn't. It's been years since he's been to New Brighton. The fresh air will do him good. Hey, now, um, any chance of uh, Nick coming oh. over? Still in bed. Oh, has he said any more? No, I mean, whenever we mention it, he just threatens to go again. Do you know, I've a good mind to go up there and clock him on. Mm, I'd let you if I thought it'd do any good. <laughs> right, come on. Right. Take your two pound. No, you can't. Well, Granny Audrey's not told you where you're going yet, has she? And you might not need money on the moon, you know. On the moon? Oh, ah. on the moon. Never mind about money. Grandad has got plenty of that, actually. The fresh air will do his wallet good, no? <laughs> you behave yourselves, all right? Don't mind her. Oh, right, come on. Have a things. nice time. Outside, three ranks. Oh, right. <laughs> chop, chop. Be good for Granny and Granddad. Bye, Luffy. Hey, and uh, best of luck, right? Oh, yeah, thanks. Hey, wait right. for me. Come on. Well, that's two down. One to go. Mm. <sighs> Do you think I should take him a cup of tea? Sure. If he wants one, he can get up and make it himself. I'm on holiday. Three quarters of a tin and a handful of meal at six o'clock. Say 